painting show. Oh, yes. I'm going to show my painting and uh, my palette. <laughs> yes, because everyone asks me about my palette <laughs> every time. So I'm going to show you. So usually, you can see my palettes. I don't really wash them so well, right? Because I love those dirty colors, <laughs> complicates colors. So now I'm going to paint the, oh, do you want to see the picture I'm going to paint? This is the one. Yes, please. Oops, oops, oops. here. Oh, yeah, good. So you can see it, right? OK, here. This is the one I'm going to paint. So you can see the background. So it's a little bit blurry, and the, the foreground of the flower is very clear. So I'm going to start with the blurry background. Oops. Oh, I still want everyone to see my palette. <laughs> OK. So I'm kind of a little bit, I cheat a little bit because the color is already there. <laughs> so that's, that's why I don't want to wash my palettes. I sometimes like to use the color it's already there and then mix with something new. So if you want to ask me which color I use, that's eh, I don't know. <laughs> because <laughs> it's already mixed a lot, right? So I usually use two brushes. One is the water brush, one's the color brush. Just hope you can see everything. Um I teach <laughs> I actually only teach my private students now. Not uh, so many workshops. Um, but I'm going to do one in England next year. <laughs> Good? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's, that's probably better. Is that OK for everyone? Yes. Oh, yeah, everyone. <laughs> OK. Here, the black velvet. I personally, I don't like it because I feel like it's not um, all in my control. So I like to use my color brush first. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's mine. Gosh. Gosh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh. oh, okay. A little bit. That better? Yeah. All right. So the prior question was, what, uh, what kind of paper do you use? Oh, the, the, the kind of paper I use is uh, um, Arches Code Press. I think it's 140 for this one. Usually I use 300 for sometimes, right? The, the, the big, for, for the big sheets. So this is um, the first layer. And now I'm going to paint the <laughs> second layer. See, this is the first layer for the corners, right? So now I'm going to paint the second layer, which is the black image, I mean the leaves. Oh, sorry. Yes, here, right? What is that? No idea. <laughs> no idea, really no idea. I think it's some something in California, weird shape. So I'm going to dry the paper a little bit. Too wet. So I'm going to start with the top, easy. This is black, OK? I add a little bit um, 
purplish, like, and then uh, I think it's blue something. But again, my palette is dirty, so I'll probably mix something else. And I like to, um, you know, add more new colors when I paint, so the color is actually not the same everywhere. That's the that's the the key for the dark side. I mean the dark mm, pattern. If you all only use black, then it will get really mm, dirty, right? Yeah. So that's you can see the blue, right? A little bit blue. I don't make mix. Oh, yeah. Uh, her question is, if I make my own black, no. It's the black is just uh, matte black. <laughs> yes. I, I think it's, uh, I don't know which black, but it's just in it. Just black, black, peach black, right? <laughs> then I sometimes mix some color, I don't know. It's probably, this is green, dark green something, so eh. It, it doesn't matter that much. The painting I paint today and tomorrow, if I paint the same painting, it will not be the same. <laughs> so that's the beauty of watercolor, right? Oh, she's asking if uh, what made me switch um, from uh, photography to watercolor. So I actually didn't switch. So my major in for my college was oil painting. So then I came here to America. I, s I studied photography. <laughs> so then I switched back, but not to oil painting, but to watercolor. So the, the, the beginning <laughs> of my watercolor journey was uh, because it's um, it just very, everything, the materials, easy to find and cheap. <laughs> and uh, and the convenient. So then I start to do a little bit and I, I sold a lot <laughs> that time and it helped me a lot. Yeah, it helped me to pay my tuition, right, everything. So, wow, and then and I, I thought it was fun. <laughs> then I started to do it full time. So in other words, you paint your own photographs, your own photographs. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely. So this is what my water brush. So is that the brush that you're using again, or? This is the one, you see two. <coughs> one is, uh, Oh yeah, she's talking about my brush. Yeah, so my brush, one is, uh, this is the color brush, this is the water brush. Do you always start with your dark? Uh, question is, if I start, always start with my darks. No, it starts when, when wherever I want, like. <laughs> wherever I like. But usually, actually, you should start with the blurry stuff, right? Like background, right? But I usually start with the light parts, actually. So remember, I did this one first. Yeah, this layer first. So I was asking, I think, about your water brush. You use a capstone type of brush? For me? Oh. Capstone, which is like flat, it's pointed at the Well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing really matters that much, right? Um, but I like the I like soft brushes. Yeah. In your studio, do you paint like this black, or do you want to paint? 
Uh, her question is, if I paint always the flats or with the easel angle, right? I, I do both. I do both. So if I feel tired or the, like the small, tiny one, I paint flat. But if it's huge, like the size I usually paint, yes, I put it on easel. Now if it is here, it's kind of out of control, then I use my, um, what do you call this? Uh, paper. Try to get rid of the excessive color. <coughs> this is water. So I try to make my water brush clean. This, this part um, is just the, the color, some, for some reason, it's just not dry enough, right? So the color got in. So I'm going to just wash it, try to get the white dots. So I think watercolor, once you really get it, it's, um, it's not that unforgivable. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not like that. So I'm going to wait the top dry and then put a little other, I think it's a little bit bluish here in those little white dots on it. Okay, so next time, next one is here. Corners. So this part is already dried up. It's actually easier. because it's easy to control. So for watercolor, I think the timing is very important, right? You cannot, you know, let run. <laughs> so if it's too wet, then it's not good. But too dry is not good either. <laughs> Just always remember you have to mix the new color in. Don't keep the same color, especially for the dark. So I'm going to use my water brush again. So the water brush can make it bleed a little. 
Yes, right? Make it blurry. So this part is still too wet. So I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to do the, the other one first, this part first. So timing. The worst thing is you, you know, you don't have the patience to wait. Okay, I have to get this effect, okay. Then you're gonna make a mess, right? That's what I see from my students, right? <laughs> She's asking if I just, you know, paint that fast, right? Just for you, or I work the same speed. It depends on my mode, right? If it's mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm pretty fast, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty fast. Even I still spend a lot of time to do, but I do a lot of detailed work, so. Okay. So this part is still not dry enough, so I'm going to start with uh, here. I'm just going to wait. So if, it's, if I'm home, I'm now see here it's not dry enough, I probably just do some message. <laughs> 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 then until it dries, right? But here, yeah, I do something else. No mistake. Gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Good. It's a mistake. So I'm going to show you how I deal with this mistake. <laughs> so it's not that bad. Yeah. It happened to me. This is actually flower. Hopefully not. Okay, that's just you know I, I found out early enough to use my paper towel to get rid of it, right? And then lucky this part should be blue, so <laughs> not too bad. Yeah, that's how I deal with my mistakes. Usually I just use the paper towel, but if it's too bad, then I use this one. Oh. There's something called the magic eraser. Oh, I didn't bring, right? <laughs> and also, here, this one. This is the one I sometimes use to scrub it, right? But don't use too much. It's going to hurt the surface. Yeah. <laughs> so I just uh, follow the rule. One is uh, water brush, one is the color brush. Yes, yes. But of course, usually I don't hold them <laughs> in the hands. I just put it there. But now I want to emphasize it. <laughs> so. My water brush, it's almost dried enough. Okay, yes. See, I used my paper towel to get extra water, so I washed it because I want wa mm, my water brush always clean. So this is my paper towel to get the water. If it's too wet, it's not good. And you can see I still have a little one here. <laughs> mm. 
mm, still too much than here. There you go. And this one here, this edge almost dried. That's not good. Yeah, if it, I'm home, I would probably will not make this mistake, right? I can wait, wait. <laughs> but it's OK. You can see I use paper towel. Here is a little bit too wet. And I move on to this corner. The question is if I always start dark first. No, I start light first usually, right? But another rule is I start the background first. So <coughs> because the background is a little bit blurry, you can see, right? So before the whole detail, the details in the middle, before the I paint a detail, I usually start the big part, big picture first, usually, right? So then it's, it's the same thing you, when you paint oil painting, say whatever painting, whatever medium, doesn't matter, right? You want to get the big picture first, especially for the beginners. For me, yeah. <laughs> no, I still, I mean, why is it special for the beginners? Because you want to get your color right, right? So you don't want to, oh, it's drawing, um, painting the same, right? When you paint, um, paint the, if, for example, you get the blue for the dark, and then, um, you want to know if the, it's too much, or you want to maybe settle it down, right? Or the color choice. You want to make sure everything is balanced, right? That's what you want. Then you start to paint the detail. So this is still too wet here. So I'm going to just give the mm, big picture again, the, the color for the flower, flower petals. So now the, my palette is pretty full. So that's what I do if I want to have some clean spots, which is to the uh, water. So yeah, I c um, leave the colors for um, a purpose, right? <laughs> because I really don't want my colors very, very raw. I want it everything subtle. So by mixing the old colors, then I get the right, gets the complicated colors. That's the that's the reason, not because I'm too lazy. All right, I'm gonna paint the. But if I really want the mm, want the very bright color, I need to clean it up a little bit. Oh, almost dried. Yeah. 
No, not enough. So the first time, first brush, I got it wrong, but it's OK. I try to fix it by the second brush. Cat hair. So again, um, always change color. So now I mix it with a little bit, whatever blue. I have three blues. <laughs> depends, depends on my mode. It really doesn't matter. Oh, I, I need you to repeat your question again because the, yeah, please. Yeah, uh, it actually is more of a comment than, than, a, than a question that your palette has so many dark colors on it that I think you have another palette that's more, more variety of colors. Yes, I'm talking about the palettes, right? So yes, here is my light color. But for the watercolor, we don't use white. We use water, so yeah. So the dark colors, when you um, mix with a lot of water, it's, it's bright. And then For the bottom, it's a little bit warm. Now I start to introduce some warm color here. Yeah, too dirty. So it's OK wash away a little bit, and then it gets the right one. Too dirty means my, maybe my brush, because it was blue before, so my brush probably had dirty color, blue color, or because of my palette is too dirty, right? <laughs> But that's good. <laughs> it's better than it's too bright. This is a good one. Oh, it dried up. OK, sorry. Now I have to move on. OK, now this is uh, how I temporarily finish here, because I need to do something there. <laughs> Thank you. So after this one, I'm going to switch. Again, I use the same method. Oh, you're talking about this uh, picture? Yeah, here you go. Ooh. All right. Yeah, sure, sure, please. <laughs> Done, everyone? Oh, it's a cute dog. <laughs> All right. So that's, uh, that's how I paint my big pictures. Right. I know I cannot finish, so I did the second one. So I think I have one. Yep. This is the, I get the big pictures done, right? Can you see? This way or the other way? Oh, this way. Good, great. Right, can you see? 
Yes. Yeah. So actually, watercolor? that's watercolor. I didn't finish. No, I didn't finish yet. I'm going to do a little bit detail, detail for here. So you can see this part, I just, the second, uh, this is the second layer, right? This is the second layer for the dark. Then I actually did something, of course, I cleaned up the edge a little bit, right? And then um, I actually paint the third layer, which is the little bit grayish, see, the, the purple, yeah, and the here. This is the second, uh, the third layer. And uh, also the first layer for the flowers. Second. You can you can uh, on just draw this um, image. Okay, she's asking me about the tracing, right? Yeah. So that's what I did. I draw my images on the tracing paper. Then I, oh, of course, you know that, right? <laughs> just make the back dark and then trace on. So I only only need to I only need to do one drawing. So I'm going to paint a little bit detail. Uh, I'm going to paint here. So you can see the color pencil drawing here is very detailed because I'm going to do this one. <laughs> yeah, this one. This one's good. All right. So for the details, I use these probably three oh, here. Yeah, three. This one's not. Which is this one? Let's go something, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go there. Because, okay, I'm going to get more paper towels. You can see I use paper towel a lot. Get the details. I'm going to start on the top. This is still my water brush, small water brush. Because <laughs> I really like the soft edge. If you're familiar with my painting, you know I did a lot of work for my edge, edges, right? Oops. Clean up a little bit. Talking about this one, uh, she's talking about. Sorry, sorry. Uh, she's talking about the if I place my water brush very far away, right? That's that's what your question. Uh, actually, not far away, just on the edge. Try to let it bleed, but not too much, right? That's that's the key. You can see I switch a lot. So the worst thing is to use the same brush, paint the whole part. <laughs> and actually, I see a lot of students do that.
what did I say? I forgot. Escal. But I still use black velvet a lot. Um, this, these two are just uh, someone gave to me, so I <laughs> just use it. Just uh, I, I'm very um, careful about color change. So now this part is a little bit blue. So I'm doing just do a little bit blue. And now here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, now I don't really don't know. But yes. I think it's the that, that's the probably the second layer for the for the detail. The more layer you paint, the richer, right? So This is the, the um, I'm going to paint, I will paint the darkest layer the last, usually. usually. For the edge, it's a little bit um, purplish brown. Oh, it's a little bit confusing. <laughs> You can see for the little parts, it's actually I change a lot of color. a little bit warmer and then I'm going to paint the this edge <coughs> time for the wet brush Very tiny, cannot even see, huh? <laughs> Just uh, basically, I want to make the edge somewhere. Some some places still very very um, sharp, right? But some places, some edges, I made it a little bit blurry. Just 
you have time. Can you just zoom it in, please? Yes, sorry. Yeah, zoom in a little bit. Yes, then you can see. The actually, I only paint here. Yeah, paint here. Right. Yes. Right. So I'm going to paint the next layer. Here, not done yet. here. So you still can you can see the edge is not very crispy, right? Sharp. So now I, I use my water brush. You don't have to wet everywhere. You just need to, you know, you see somewhere if it's fuzzy, then do a little bit. For example, this this uh, this uh, side and uh, the other side. The other side is kind of um, um, sharper, though I didn't do anything here. I only did this side. And this one is actually very sharp, the detail, so I didn't do anything. Maybe the ends a little bit. And the, and the here, very soft edge. A little bit. Okay. And the other side, it's sharper. Right. And well, this part I don't like. Even the picture looks like that, then I'm going to change. Because they are, can you see that one, two, three, repeated, right? So I'm going to do something. So it's not like a realistic painting. It's not really realistic. You have to do something. So here, it's just too much repeated. So I'm going to do this. Make it here. Blurry. Now you get rid of the pattern. Right? So now I'm going to do a little bit here, and then move to the bottom. Do a little bit touch here. Blue, blue, blue. Next little of the ten minutes left. Why don't we oh. have enough questions and you can repeat the questions? Sure. Okay. Yes. So if anybody has questions, yes. How long how long will it take you to finish this painting? I see it's very detailed. Um I I think I take it took me I actually have the final painting. Um it took me six hours. <laughs> Probably. Oh yes. Uh, she 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 asked if uh, how long I paint this painting. How long it took me to paint the painting? This the whole the the, the final. Yeah. 
Yes. Oh, sorry. The question is if it's on the Rima pa panel. Yes, it is. I will show you, okay? Then you can take a look after the, my demo is done. Gonna do a little bit bottom here. Gonna do a little bit. Yeah, so uh, we still have uh, ten minutes, right? Yeah, I'll do a little. Bit. And the translucence is I mean, obviously maintained to avoid the layers. Is it, are there any other tricks? That, not tricks, but suggestions you have for keeping it as translucent? Oh, the question is if I have any, you know, tips, whatever for the for keeping it translucent, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, what, what's caused, the, like, uh, make you feel it's translucent is, let's see, let's see, for example, let's say here, this part, right? Now, look, this part actually is the, what do you call this, the other pedal, belongs to this part, belongs to the other pedal, right? So you can see, you can see the folder it's folded here, so actually it has some details, but it here is the other one. So if you can, oh, sorry, oh, yeah. that's not good. <laughs> so you can see here, uh, this part, this part, right? Now you can see this part, the dark, the dark part, the warm dark part, it actually belongs to the pedal behind. So this part actually is the pedal in the front. So now if you want to keep the transparency, you just have to make sure you always have this part. Yeah. Always look, this edge is very important. Right? Keep this part. So, well, I'm going to show you my final product. See, even I did a lot of details. You still can see, actually, this way, right? Actually, this way. You still can see, even I did lots of details. Oops, here. You still can see this part. Let's compare, right? You still can see this part, right? Uh -huh. Not gonna cover it. And the, you actually, you need to emphasize. I emphasize more right here. And also, another example is here. Now, I did a lot of details here, but you still can see this dark part actually belongs to the one behind, right? Behind. So that's how you keep the transparency or translucency, whatever you call it, right? So that's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Do you want to talk about the surface? Tur well, uh, that you, did you mount it? Oh, we're talking about, she's asking about the surface, uh, how I treat my surface, right? So you can see this one is the Raymar, right? This is the mark. If you want to take a picture or something, you can see, okay, now I'm a, I'm doing advertise. <laughs> so yes, um, last time I got this one from Pierre. But he got retired now. So, so yes, then I bought a few of them. The, I bought a few of them. So because I tried the first one, this is actually the first one I tried. Then I uh, painted them. So yeah, I tried the first one. It was really good. It's Turn really, yes, no, here, right Turn here. It Turn it over. Yeah. So the, whoops. <laughs> the paper is actually, already mounted on. So when uh, you get this uh, panel, it's just like that. So it's very convenient. You don't have to mount it on. Right. Yeah. Raymar, right? Raymar? Oh, they should pay me. Yeah, yeah here you go. It's a little bit pricey, but I really like it. <laughs> I think it's the, um, yeah, no. Nah. This is, I think it's the Arches paper mounted on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me? Oh, Fabriano? Sorry, I'm bad. Fabriano. <laughs> yes, Fabriano. We still have eight minutes left. Okay. Yeah, I still can paint a little bit. So. Mm -hmm. Paper. This one's actually arches. I paint arches. But I don't see the big difference, to be honest. Arches and uh, Fabriano. And uh, I'm still going to finish the, the bottom. 
pardon me. Uh, yes, please, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, you, you want me to get the detailed names? I'm sorry, can I part because it's already, look, look on my palette. I don't even know which one is which, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Some artists, like, they paint one color and they, they squeeze it a little here and then start to paint, right? But for me, I just pre-squeezed everything in. I, I got this, I don't think it's, new, something new. I think a lot of artists do this, right? Yeah. Is there a paint color, a paint brand that you prefer? No, I don't have it. I just, uh, yeah, uh, as long as it's expensive, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what I learned. <laughs> don't use cheap stuff, right? Oh, yeah, you, okay. She's asking about my parrot um, mm, uh, arrangement, right? Um, look, so this is my black, right? Black always, then that's, I think it's dark green something, whatever, I don't remember the name. But and then, the, and then all kinds of blue from dark to light. But of course, sometimes I made a mistake. For example, here, that's a mistake. I should put this one here, but eh, who, who cares? Then that, that, that one's a mistake too. This is uh, one should be should belong to here, but eh, no space, so I just put it here. But yeah, try not to, right? Try not to. <laughs> yeah. This, these are the all kinds of yellow, right? Orange, yellow. Not this. This one actually is a mistake. This one should be the last one, but who cares? <laughs> it's not that important. But try to not to put the yellow, try not to put the yellow directly beside the black, then that's, that's going to be a mess, right? When every time you try to get black, eh, you just uh, yeah, put everything, like splash it, then the, 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 the yellow is going to be whatever, muddy color, right? So that's it. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I really don't like the idea, um, I mean the method, um, to, to paint, to, to, to get your color before you paint. Because for me, you know, to be honest, this, this painting, the color I use here, probably it's completely different. Who knows? I don't remember last time what I painted, right? Which color I painted. So it's almost like an instinct. Right? So then uh, if I see so many colors and I pick and choose, um, yeah, not, then uh, I don't write it down. Okay, this, 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 this part I use like uh, uh, whatever color, then I just yeah, do whatever. Every time will be different. I noticed your paintings here don't have frames. Is that one with that frame? You can put a frame on. I I do I do sell my paintings with a frame, mm -hmm. with a frame. It's just easier to. Oh, I uh, he's talking about if I spray. Yes, yes. This is a very 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 complicated process. <laughs> I think. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, Matthew Bird, the judge next year. I think he knows everything about, he knows more than I know. I learned from his website. And then sometimes I ask him the questions. So, Matthew Bird. Check Matthew Bird's um, blog. <laughs> yes. So basically I just spray um, the two times and then use the golden media to brush it on and then spray again. The, but the, the everything you need, the information you need is on the on his blog. You can find it if you search online. 
because this is not the demo today. So I think you can ask him to do a demo <laughs> next time, how to treat uh, your, your painting. minutes. Any more questions before our time's up? Just two more minutes. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. finish this part. I just want to know about the pencil marks. Do you have a great Pencil marks? Pens? Pencil marks? No, I don't. Oh, yes. I, oh. She's asking if I erase the pencil marks, right? So, yes, sometimes. Sometimes. Not so all the time, but sometimes. Uh, especially for the light part, right? If you, yeah. But for the dark part, it's not necessary. It's going to cover it. So when do you erase? Like afterwards or when do you erase that? After, I erase it before I paint, right? Oh. Yeah. And then sometimes I even erase it. No, you can't actually, but this is a good question actually. So we're talking about erasing the pencil marks. But I think you have to erase it before you paint, before any color gets on. Because when you color gets on, you, it's kind of hard to erase everything, right? Anything. So that's what I feel. So do you have them this dark for us to see? I don't think it's necessary to, OK, let's compare these two. Let's compare these two if you want to see the, you don't see, really see the pencil marks that much. And OK, also I did a, did a little bit de detail here. Can you still see the pencil marks? Not really, right? So if I finish everything, then it, you really cannot see that much. Actually, I, I, I kind of erase a little bit. I use this a soft eraser to you know, clean the surface a little bit. Yes, before I start, before, yeah, before I brought it here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you.